welcome to my home. That's right, I'm finally gonna be showing you where I live, my place in Los Angeles. I promised this video for a while, so here it is. This is my place. It is starting to get a bit dark outside, but I did take some daytime footage, so you'll see me keep overlaying that in this video. I paid $2,500 for this apartment, and it has a one bedroom plus an upstairs loft as well as in unit laundry so this is the perfect place for me so right now i'm standing in the foyer which is one of my most favorite parts of this place is i wanted a really big foyer area because the place that i lived before was very squished it was a one bedroom but it was very squished this has a very big open space and it is very open concept high ceilings everything that you would love in that Los Angeles apartment. And you can't see it right now, but this is also a beautiful palm tree. So one of the things I love is that when I look outside my window, I literally am always reminded every day that I live in a wonderful, warm place <laughs> that is Los Angeles. So starting at the entry, this is where you first come in to the apartment and you have a beautiful sign up here. It says she leaves a little sparkle wherever she goes. I mean, because if your home doesn't represent your character and people don't feel like they're entering your world when they come in, then like, it's not a very homey place, is it? <laughs> so then as you enter, you keep walking in and the first place you get to is the kitchen. So now I'm in the kitchen. So one of the things that was a must for me when I moved was that I wanted a place that had marble countertops, which this does. It's just more modern, it's easier to clean. So that was one of the must-haves on my list is marble countertops as well as stainless steel appliances. So that's one of the things that drew me to this place. And I have a ton of cupboard space as well, which is important if you are a bit of a I don't want to say hoarder, a collector <laughs> like me. I have way too much stuff. So anyway, I'm not a hoarder, but I, I have a lot of stuff. One thing you'll notice too is that I have motivational quotes all over my apartment. To me, it's very important to stay motivated. And in LA, when things are so competitive, you just need that boost of motivation. So yeah, I have motivational stuff all over my apartment. So something else I wanted to show you, which you might laugh at is the actual number one reason I moved into this apartment unit was the in-unit laundry because, <laughs> so there it is. The reason might sound silly, but hear me out. It's because at the beginning of the pandemic, remember when everybody was like cleaning their groceries and didn't know how the virus spread and all that. So I, at the time I was living at a place where we had shared laundry and I was like, I do not want to share laundry with anybody. Uh, not with this virus going around, you know. Anyway, like I said, we realized later that it spread mainly with like breath or whatever, but still, that was the... <laughs> I had to have a place that had in-unit laundry, so that's why. So that was my actual number one reason that I moved here. And then the space was a plus. So now I'm in my living room. Again, one of the things I love about this place are the high ceilings. So the ceilings that I have are actually double the length of a typical ceiling because of that loft that's upstairs. So I love how it lets in so much natural light in the daytime and I have a beautiful view outside my window as I mentioned and it's just so spacious in this area as well lots of it's very open concept like this apartment is a very very open concept you'll also notice my taste again I love neutral colors black silver slash gray are my favorite colors so I have a lot of gray furniture with silver and black um, accents in this room. Believe it or not though, I get a lot of my stuff for a good price. It looks expensive, but it is cheaper than what people think. I think this, I get so many compliments on this metal art on the wall. And honestly, that, I believe it cost me only 50 bucks. So yeah, I'm really good at finding things that are expensive looking, but are not actually expensive. I also just remember that I should point out that it's extremely hot right now in LA and so a lot of my plants like are very thirsty. They need help. They need 
an SOS. They need a 911 emergency. I swear I am a really good plant mom, but somehow things happen and yeah. <laughs> but they'll come back to life, trust me. They always come back to life. <laughs> All right, so now I will take you into my bedroom, which is right here. So as you can see, there was the entrance. We came in, we walked past the kitchen, we walked past the upstairs, and now we're going into the bedroom. All right, guys, so we are in my bedroom, so Again, unfortunately, it got dark before I could finish this video. I started filming in the day and it's already gotten dark. But again, I'm putting in footage from the daytime. Uh, but one of the things I loved about this unit is just how sizable the bedroom is. It even has this nook on the side, which was important for me because I love makeup, I love glam, I love all sorts of things. So I wanted a place that I could put my vanity and I am very proud of myself. I did something very DIY. I installed my own makeup lights on my vanity. So yeah, that turned out really, really good. I'm very proud of that. I will admit though, this bedroom is very hodgepodgey in terms of furniture because a lot of furniture I collected over time. Some of it, I just have too much stuff that I can't get rid of the old ones yet. <laughs> but I have been trying to make them match. I finally got a bed that matches the end tables, so the end tables match. Um, but you can see there's just way too much furniture. I have to get rid of it. I am moving out of this place soon though. So in the next unit that I'm in, um, I, I definitely will, you know, I have to get rid of some things. <laughs> it forces, when you move, it forces you to get rid of things. So sometimes moving is good. And even the color scheme is also a hodgepodge because I originally had a white and blue theme. You might have seen this from my really old videos that like I have blue blankets and comforters, but then I wanted to switch to a white and black theme, but I still have gray, like you see this gray, I still have gray stuff. So eventually it'll get to the point where it's just black and white. And it doesn't help that the walls are cream which I was very lazy to paint when I came to this place. So that's why I also did not uh, paint the walls. Like in my last place, I painted the walls black and everything. So now I'm standing in front of my beautiful vanity. Look at that. Amazon chic. Yep, bought the, the lights on Amazon and the table. Probably on Wayfair. Everyone buys on Wayfair these days. But um, yeah, so there's all my makeup too. Honestly, I am so proud of this makeup station I made and putting on my own lighting from Amazon. I mean, just look at it. Very cute. Very demure. Love it. Again, though, look, very hodgepodgey taste. This lamp is from Ikea. I think it's like the first lamp I bought when I moved to LA and I keep not throwing it away because it provides extra lighting when I'm getting ready for stuff. I should also point out I'm about to throw away like all this jewelry I have because I am the founder of a jewelry brand called Zam Jewelry and I feel like it's blasphemous to have other jewelry. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it wrong? Should I get rid of all my jewelry? That is not Zam Jewelry. <laughs> Yeah, so that, again, moving is going to force me to get rid of all that jewelry that is not Zam jewelry. So just in case you guys don't know, Zam jewelry is my brand. I designed all of the jewelry pieces myself. You can see here, I am wearing Solidarity in gold. And every piece that I designed has meaning behind it because it is bold and empowering jewelry for women and so solidarity is meant to represent showing solidarity for a cause for people who, who are going through things and to show that you are a person of uh, empathy and solidarity so that's where that comes from so and it's affordable like I said I'm a huge advocate of things that are uh, look very expensive but are actually actually affordable so yeah zamjewelry.com to get the solidarity earrings in gold also comes in silver the silver is really cool too because it has black gems on it instead so a little dark side Ooh. You guys are gonna laugh when I show you what's behind the door. 
<laughs> wigs. <laughs> and I have even more than that. <laughs> So the closet space is actually quite a lot. So this closet has both an up and a down. And yes, I know I have so many clothes. And it extends all the way through there to the point where you could, you could technically walk in and come out this door. So I'll show you the closet from the other side. I'm gonna warn you, it's very stuffed in this closet. More wigs. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's really spacious closet. Like I said, it extends all the way past there, round the corner. So it's a very spacious closet. But yeah, it's very full. Even the purse is up there. All right, now into the bathroom. So now we are in the restroom. Unfortunately, I had to turn the fan on because the lighting in here is not great. Um, and one of the bulbs are out as well. But because I'm moving out, I'm just like, is there any point having the maintenance guy come in for <laughs> put a new bulb? Well, I don't know. But either way, um, the lighting isn't great. But again, you'll see I got these granite countertops, which is really important for me um, in this unit. And of course, you see. I keep that gray and black theme. Overall, a very spacious bathroom. There are actually two restrooms in this apartment. This one down here and then one upstairs as well. So I will show you that in a minute. Oh, another thing I should mention too is that it was very important for me to have a place where the bathroom had tiles. I've stayed in a place with hardwood bathroom floor before and it is not good for cleaning. Um, and moisture in the bathroom. So tiles, very, very important. All right, guys, it's time for the grand finale. We are finally going upstairs to my office, and there's also another half restroom up there as well. But this is one of the reasons I bought, I bought this apartment, oh my gosh. <laughs> Rented, I chose this apartment is because of the upstairs because I wanted a separate place for my office because I'm a businesswoman. I hustle, okay? So yeah, let's go take a look. All right guys, I just turned some extra lighting on so you can see better. As you can see, this is my office. Then we have the sofa bed that actually pulls out a full bed. Anytime I have guests come over, they stay up here. And oh, what a coincidence. More Zam jewelry promotion. My jewelry brand, because I am the founder of a jewelry brand. What a coincidence that this cushion is here. <laughs> And because I believe there's nothing wrong with letting your inner child out, I've got my collection. Every single one of these has meaning, believe it or not. You've got Dobby from Harry Potter. So honorable, because honor is important. This is from the West Ham United season opener this year, where I had some amazing VIP tickets. I have a video about that coming out soon. Yoshi, because everyone underestimates him, and then he does really good. Minions, because they show that when you work together, things work out better. Scrooge McDuck, because in the opening of DuckTales, he would literally dive into a pool of money, which I hope I can do someday. <laughs> and then you got Grogu, your lovely sidekick. And there's one of the motivational quotes that I mentioned. I have a lot of in every job that must be done. There is an element of fun. And I mentioned before, I have a second restroom up here. So guests can use this, it's perfect, because then in the night, if they have to use the toilet, they don't bother me in my room. So cute little half bath for guests who stay up here. And now from up here, you actually have a much 
better view of those high ceilings. Look at that. And then you can see down below where we were before. Like I mentioned before, this place is $2,500 per month. Plus, if you live in a building like this, they charge amenity fees. So the amenity fees are about $150 or $160 on top of the $2,500. And then, of course, you have your utilities. We pay water and electricity. So, yeah that's the price all right guys i hope you enjoyed my apartment tour video this is my first apartment tour video i don't know why i haven't done it all this time but i finally did it and you know i hope you loved seeing my place we're gonna end it up here in my office it's funny as i'm standing here i'm realizing i don't have as much decor as i thought like i should have put something up on the wall there uh but i didn't it's funny i have stuff that i haven't hung up still like look at this welcome to wonderland so anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you continue with me on this journey here in LA as a founder. For those of you who don't know, I am a business owner. I am the founder of Zam Jewelry and I show my life working on my brand as well as travel, going to events here in LA. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you press like if you enjoyed this video. Also press comments. What do you think of my apartment? Do you think that it's a cool place? Is it your style? Let me know. Take care and keep being magic. Bye. Keep being magic. Keep being magic. Keep being magic.